Uh, here today, we're in Northern California. We are heading up to Donner Pass to take you guys on an adventure through the Donner Pass abandoned railroad tunnels. We're going deep inside the mountains, deep to Mordor. Right here, we're at Donner Ski Ranch. This is actually my old stomping grounds. And before we go on any further, I want to let you guys know, I'm sure most people know, but if this video seems a little grainy, make sure to go into your settings in the video and make sure you're at the highest quality. It should be 1080. All right, we're leaving uh, Donner Ski Ranch. And when I say that's my old stomping grounds, that was actually my very first job as an EMT professional ski patrol back in the day on those mountains. I used to patrol those mountains. Right now, we're on Historic 40 heading up to the abandoned tunnels. Uh, Historic 40 is the very first uh, across country automobile highway ever made. And be careful, kind of right at the beginning, you're gonna have to traverse this babbling brook to get to the trails right there. <laughs> so there's really no specific trail. When you're coming up here, it's kind of a choose your own adventure. All this will eventually lead up to there. Just be smart, be careful, watch your step, because this can be rough terrain. We have come across something in traversing the rocky rocks. Look at this. It's a trail. This is, I don't remember this. I, the only real times I've been up here was when it was pretty snowy. Here's a little perspective of the steepness of the climb. It's not too bad. You definitely have to watch your step though. Uh, especially if any of these rocks are wet. Make sure you got good shoes on and uh, watch your uh, climbing partner. We've gained elevation. The vehicles down there. Beautiful Donner Lake in the distance. Named after the infamous Donna Donner Party. We've gained so much elevation it's starting to snow. Bernie's found ice. Snow ice. That's the best kind of snow. Snow ice. Uh, yeah, so continuing on. Well, we're here. A little shout out to Huel Hauser there. All right, so we're about to head in the tunnels. A uh, good thing to have is flashlights or headgear, like Brittany's sporting right there. Or both. Uh, it can get really dark in these sections um, and a little bit chilly too. So even if it's 70 degrees outside, it could get colder in here. So make sure you're prepared. Entering the tunnels in the distance is the dark. And uh, not cement, but actual mountain. Um, so yeah, definitely bring a flashlight, watch your step. And uh, if you're ever here in the snow, be careful because me and my brother were here one time and there were chunks of snow falling from the roof. And if you were under any of those chunks, it would have been bad news. Okay, so see things like this can come from up there. So when you come in these tunnels, just be careful. It can be a uh, risky business. Watch your step, listen to noises and um, yeah. Okay, this is just an indicator of how much colder it can get in here compared to outside. There's still a decent amount of snow in here we're gonna have to cross. Okay, coming down, we're still walking in this direction, but there's spots like this every now and again that you can come out to. So coming out of that tunnel entrance, you get to come out here and get pretty cool views that I don't think you could really get anywhere else in the area. And then here's a shot of where we exited the tunnel. We're gonna go back in and we're gonna continue all the way along down that path. And of course, with any place like this, there are stories that it's haunted. My brother, my brother used to come up here by himself and hike these early in the morning. He was the one that brought me up here for the first time. And uh, he swore that there was one day early in the morning, still kind of dark outside, he swore that he heard voices in the tunnels and he knew he was by himself. So you never know. 
So this is a lot of runoff from the mountain because that side is the mountain. So this is all runoff from the mountain. Definitely bring good shoes. Um, your feet will get a little wet and there's a little Yeti. So there is graffiti uh, all over the place in here. Some of it's actually really cool. I'm kind of bummed out though. The last time I was here, there were some uh, really cool sayings and quotes in here. And I think one of them was right there and somebody covered it up. Um, so like I said, uh, some of it's a bummer. Some of it is really, really unique artwork. Um, yeah. Yeah, I remember this one was really cool and uh, people are graffitiing over it. I don't know, I mean, I guess that's the thing. They're just washing away the old, bringing in the new, but there's definitely some artwork that was in here that was really, really cool, and uh, people are putting their stuff over it that isn't as cool. So that's kind of a bummer. This is a really cool spot of the tunnel. It's all these cool slats right there. Bringing the light really makes it neat. Here's more uh, runoff from the side of the mountain. So me and Brittany, uh, we keep hearing somebody saying we all float down here. We might go check this out. And over here on most of it is the actual side of the mountain. So right here, this is all the actual side of the mountain. And then up top is the um, man-made tunnel. They uh, blasted all this out, obviously. And right there, I see a light at the end of the tunnel. Let's head towards it. So I was telling Brittany on the sections that are like this, I kind of casually walk. The sections that are like that, that are straight up through the mountain, I kind of speed walk through just to make sure nothing falls on us. Ooh. So this is pretty much how it goes. You come out of one tunnel, you're gonna exit something like this and then go into another tunnel. Coming out of this tunnel, definitely watch your step. I'm not going in there. Are you going in there, Brittany? All right, let's go. And I'm really big into uh, flashlights, so when I come in here, bam, check that out. Frodo lives? Frodo lives. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, really? <laughs> we are on our way to Mordor. I knew this was the way. It's this way. My, my singing voice would probably be amazing in here. This is straight up mountain in here. Brittany was just pointing out, watch where he came from. All right, do it. It's dark. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Coming up to another pretty dark section. In fact, I think we kind of just entered it. Another kind of quick walkthrough section. Ooh, this is a dark section. Just came out of there. This is more like it. This is the artwork that I remember. When me and Billy were here, this is the kind of stuff that was on the walls where, don't get me wrong, you know, it sucks that they do it, it sucks, you know, but it's here and it was, that's about all I saw. I don't know what any of this stuff is, but the artwork back there was kind of more like what was along, like just a huge mural. And uh, it's not really like that anymore. So we just came out of the last tunnel. But the hike continues. So we're done with the last tunnel, uh, or you know, we're out of the tunnels, and there's more of this China wall.
There's the last tunnel back there. Some people back there having a picnic. Me and Brittany think we may have just heard a bear. Hey bear! Hey bear! Hey bear! Yeah, there really are bears up here. Well, that's that. Uh, if you like this episode, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you'll know when new content comes out. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, comment on the video if I haven't already said so. Now go have your own adventure. Pretty run, we're being flooded in!